Yeah. Push and hold the button. Push and hold it. Wow. Oh, dude, your face is dirty. <laughs> I yeah. didn't notice that until just now. Come here, wash your face, huh? And then Yeah, push and hold it. Wow. Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. This is another Vlogtober. <laughs> I can probably say Vlogist and Vlogmas. Vlogtober episode. It is Thursday, October 4th. I just got done editing um, Tuesday and Wednesday's clips and I realized I didn't really take many clips so it's not that interesting at all. I'm sitting here with Jesse. He's playing on an old phone. He's playing car apps like monster trucks. Are you stuck? Can I push this button? Move your finger. There you go. <laughs> um, I didn't film hardly anything yesterday, hey. especially him. It was mostly just me talking, so I'm going to try to do better today and the rest of the October. So they're actually interesting. Um, another interesting thing will be... It's really loud. Let me get in here. Ugh. Sunday, Devin is off of work. Oops. So we're going to go ahead and go to the pumpkin patch this week, this Sunday, just because he may not be off any other weekend um, for October. Kendall's about burnt up. I gotta get rid of it. Down here somewhere. There it is. It's pretty much just a little bit of wax. <laughs> but yeah, so Sunday is the... Let's see here if it's the 7th. Yeah, right? The 7th. And we're gonna go to the pumpkin patch that day. Um, it doesn't open till 1, so it'll be later in the day that we start filming, which is fun. So I'm, I'm gonna be vlogging that. That ought to be a lot of fun with um, the hay rod even though there's no hay on it it's just a wagon and actually going to the pumpkin patch and picking pumpkins and letting jesse play on all the play things <laughs> that they have so i look i'm looking really forward to that and devin is too because we haven't got to spend a lot of time together as a family in a while i got a bunch of material today for bags this is for lining bags that i already have that i got cut up here waiting and I got to make bags for my 2,000 subscriber giveaway which I'll be re announcing <laughs> soon and cakewalk cow I gotta make a bag for that because it's ending in two weeks less than two weeks right yeah less than two weeks <laughs> so I gotta make a lot of bags I'll probably sew some later I'm not sure I've got two more videos I really need to film today or tomorrow to get out one is about my Halloween amigurumis and one is about an announcement yeah I forgot what it was but I remember now <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and do something and then I'll try to film more later Jesse just fell asleep I'm gonna sit here and work on some cutting material for some bags <laughs>
guys, they're back in the cabinet. I don't need this bag down here. Um, you just saw me cut a bunch of bags. Come on, it's so dark in here. There we go. <laughs> um, notion bags and project bags. I guess the camera there is. <laughs> it's hard to tell sometimes. Um, to get ready to sew. I was going to sew, but then I realized I had a lot of material I needed to cut, so I ended up cutting for 30 minutes or longer. Now I'm getting some Halloween stuff that I got separated out. Um, I bought a bag of Halloween candy of like Jolly Ranchers and Twizzlers because I read online that they're, they have less allergy potential. Well, I just went out. Stupid lot shoots all the time. It's like a, I forgot what they're called. It's those long lots. I just think about all the time. Anyways, I got that bag of candy because I read online that those have less uh, allergy potentials or whatever for kids. So I didn't get chocolate or anything with peanut butter or anything like that. And then I also got a bag of little plastic bats and spiders and snakes and rats <laughs> to put in a separate container beside them. Just in case there's a kid that doesn't either A, like this candy or B, is allergic to something that's in there. And uh, as for the, the bags, uh, I'm going to crochet a pattern. It's actually going to start as a crochet along this Saturday, which is the 6th. It's a Made by Mary pattern. <laughs> um, it's her brand, one of her brand new patterns. What is it called? It's called like Frankenstein Candy Bowl or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but she just released it. I'll, I'll try to remember to link it below if I can. Uh, it's a really cute pattern. And I actually got it for free because when you finish her cow, if you finish it in time, she gives everybody who does it a um, free pattern code. Well, she asks you what you want, she sends it to you. And that's the one I picked because I wanted to make it anyways. And that just happens to be the next cow. So that ended up being good. So um, I'm going to make it and I'm going to put the candy, I think, in it. And then I'll find something else to put the little toys in uh, to keep them separate. And we won't be here Halloween night. We'll be trick-or-treating with Jesse, but my mom is going to come stay at our house because I want to leave the Halloween lights on and leave candy out for the neighborhood kids. And I don't want to leave them plugged in without us here because it's a fire hazard. But uh, So she's going to come and sit on our porch. <laughs> I told her she could just sit inside and not even answer the door, just leave the candy out there. But she actually wants to hand out candy. So she's going to sit out there and hand out candy and these little treats that I need a bigger bag for because this is not fit. <laughs> um, to the little kids, you know. There are a lot of kids in our apartment complex. Well, I guess there are, but that's like medium. <laughs> and I don't even know if they'll come here. Last year we weren't here at all, so I don't know if anybody tried to come here or not. But, um, so she'll be out there handing out candy and stuff to those kids while we're out getting candy and stuff. So I think that'd be cool. <laughs> but she's gonna have the lights on and everything, so they'll see her and I'm sure someone will stop. And if not, Jesse will have a bunch of little plastic uh, critters to play with and me and Devin will have a bunch of Jolly Ranchers to eat, and we'll have to give the Twizzlers away because I don't like them, and Devin doesn't like them. I doubt Jesse would. But yeah, so I just got a little bit of Halloween candy because even if we do get trick-or-treaters, I doubt it'd be many because our apartment complex isn't on a main road. It's kind of out a road away from the main roads. So I don't think people will actually come down here unless they have family members that they're coming to trick-or-treat at. But yeah, so I got those bags cut and I'm going to start sewing them maybe tonight, but probably for sure this weekend. Two of them are going to be for, let me take over there. Two of them are going to be for my 2,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm going to draw two winners. I'm going to draw one from the video when it comes out, it's not out yet, and one from the Facebook group. And you'll be, the winners will get celebratory bags and notion pouches and something else buttons buttons from claudia that i bought up here i'm not gonna show you those it'll be a surprise <laughs> and then the cakewalk cow which ends on october 14th so i guess the 15th that's a monday i will draw the winners for that there's gonna be one two three four five there's gonna be five winners from my my part of the cakewalk cow mo will probably i don't know how many she's drawn but if you entered both of them you might win both of them who knows <laughs> but for mine i'm gonna draw five winners i'm gonna have one winner win a project bag and notion pouch which I forgot to cut I need to get that down and cut it <laughs> another winner will win um, a button from Claudia and I think some stitch markers I just got to make them I haven't made them yet 
and the other three winners will win a pattern of their choice from Hannah at the Cozy Cottage Crochet uh, Ravelry Shop. She donated three patterns for me to give away. So I'm going to use those for the Cakewalk Cow so you guys can, you know, whoever wins can get a shawl pattern or that really cool hat cow. She gifted me that pattern and I can't wait to make it. I just got a lot of stuff going right now that I need to finish first. <sighs> I gotta slow down. I talk too much. But okay, I got the candy separated. Jesse's still napping. I'm probably going to go in there and eat me some beef jerky. <laughs> Devin bought me some beef jerky before he went to work. I love beef jerky. This is a local top. It's... It says Sparta, Tennessee, but I have no idea where they're located at because our area is very small and I've never seen them. But I guess it's maybe from my house, but it's really good. It's like one of the best jerkies I've ever had, and I've had a lot of jerkies. I love jerky. But I'm probably going to go snack on that and watch some videos or something, and I will see you guys in a later clip.
is Friday, October 5th. <laughs> I'm sitting here, I got the laptop right below you, and I'm working on a description for a video I just filmed. I just filmed two videos, actually. And I'm going to be filming, hopefully, two more tonight, and possibly a few tomorrow. I always try to, when Jesse's gone, Jesse's gone, by the way. I always try, when he's being babysat, to film a bunch of videos so that I can have them edited and scheduled to upload uh, throughout the week so that I don't have to film when he's here. I like filming vlogging obviously with him here and I don't mind him coming up in some of my videos like my No Catch Name episodes because he doesn't really interrupt it but some of my videos that involve information I want to be able to say it without getting interrupted so I try to film those kind of videos when he's not here. He's at my mom's. This morning we got up and you will see some clips or you will have seen them. I don't know if I put them in yet or not <laughs> but this morning we got up and we went to get my mom and then we went to the neighboring town and uh we went to the train tails again like we did last week and um had he uh listen well he, we played on the trains first because we got there a little early we always get places early <laughs> and um he played on the trains and then we went in and there was a bunch of other kids there so i couldn't really film a lot because i didn't want to film a bunch of little kids that aren't mine and um he played with the train set with like five or six other little kids while they read stories. But he did pay attention sometimes. He was turning around and looking at the books. It was really cute. And then after they read stories, ugh, Matt, um, they had coloring pages, which I have his hanging in, on the refrigerator. If I can remember, I will show you guys in another clip in a little bit. Um, it's really cute. He colored it. And um, then me and my mom, we went to a couple thrift stores and got some stuff. And I'll show you that, too, in a minute. <laughs> Once I get done doing this, because they're over there on um, on his wagon. I just throw them on there, because the clothes, the clothing ones and the rug that I got need to be washed before I um, use it. Anyways. So, yeah. I'm, like I said, I'm working on a description box right now. Uh, just getting all the links topped up and ready to put on the bottom of the videos that I filmed. Um, just so it's easy for you guys to click on what you want. And then I've got to edit the two videos that I just filmed. And then tonight I'm going to sit in here in the living room since Jesse's not in here. I'm going to bring the sewing machine in here so I can watch YouTube videos on the TV. And sew because I want to, I got two bags that I need to sew for my 2000 subscriber giveaway video, which I'm hoping to film tomorrow. So the bags will be done. You know, if they're done, I will film it tomorrow. Um, I need my computer so it's not making so much noise. Uh, and also I may work, start working on some project bags to get up in the shop. I've got four Halloween bags left to sew. No more notion pouches. I've put up all my Halloween notion pouches already. And I've got... Let's see here. Five or six... Um, autumn themed bags to sew and a bunch of notion pouches all the autumn bags that I'll be sewing this weekend will have matching notion pouches and what else do I need to do this next coming week I gotta sew another bag uh, two bags a project bag and a notion pouch for the cakewalk cow which is ending next Sunday not this coming one but the one after that the 14th so I've got to sew three bags for giveaways and um, oh, how I done lost count, 10 or 11 for the shop <laughs> plus notion pouches. So that's a lot of sewing, but I'm going to try to get as much of it done this weekend as I can, uh, at least tonight and tomorrow. I probably won't sew any Sunday unless we're just home chilling because that's the only day Devin's off this weekend. So I will be taking... You know, spending that time with him and Jesse. We are going to the pumpkin patch then, so I'll be vlogging that. And let's see here. Tomorrow, if my mom watches Jesse, she said she might keep him tomorrow too. It just depends on, you know, what she has to do. Um, if she does keep him, I'll be filming a lot and sewing a lot and probably crocheting a lot because I am almost done with this. This is really bright green. I ran out of my mainstay spring green. It's not spring green, but it's like the equivalent of it. It's, I think it's just called Mainstays Green. But it looks really close to Spring Green. Because this is Red Heart Super Saver Spring Green. And they're really similar. They're different shades. But they're, they're similar enough that I like the colors. 
but I used the rest of it on something. What did I use the rest of it on? Because I made him out of it. And I could have sworn I used this rest of it on something else. I'm trying to think of what I made recently. I don't know. Maybe I do have a scrap ball. I think I do have a scrap ball of it, but I was afraid it wouldn't be enough. But now that I'm looking at it, it probably would have been enough. But this is a glow worm. <laughs> That's why it's so bright because of the windows open right there. But this is a uh, quart jar cozy. It's a free pattern by Snappy Tots, uh, and it's part of a crochet along the crochet along being hosted by the Underground Crafter. She's week five, I think, and I think there's two more weeks to uh, make the patterns and enter them. But I'm almost done with him. I got him all done except I got to sew on little button pupils and stitch on a mouth. And he'll be done. Um, and it's just a quart jar cozy. In the picture, she has like a tea light in there just to make him glow and be, you know, like a Halloween glowy thing. And she also says you can use that as a treat jar. So I'll probably use it just as a treat jar. I do have to um, string through a piece of yarn to use as a drawstring. To, so, that, you know, so that you can cinch it around the top of the jar so it won't fall off. And I'm just going to like probably set it like in my kitchen with some suckers or something in it. <laughs> Candies or something like that. Just to be a cute little decoration. I really like this pattern. I may actually kind of use the same base pattern that she made to make different like characters. Because I could probably, you know, easily make this into a Dracula by changing the colors and the shapes of the facial features and getting rid of the screws. <laughs> you know, you could probably easily tweak it to make any holiday, um character you know you could probably even make an elf or a santa or something and that'd just be cute to have something like kisses or something like that sitting around and just to grab one and go and it'd be a cute gift idea because with this on there you could still put the lid on the jar so you could put um you know cookie mix in there with the instructions on how to bake them and slip it in this and gift it to someone or you know like a christmas themed one or if they like halloween <laughs> or just some candy or a little you know stickers and things if you're giving it to someone with kids i just thought it was a really neat pattern heidi comes up with the coolest things i don't see how people just think up of patterns i'm trying to design patterns but it's been a really slow process and um i think you just i think once you get a base pattern in your head it's easier to build off of that kind of like mary smith's body because in all her big amigurumis the bodies are pretty much the same like the only thing different about this one is it's shoes is pointy where most of them are rounded but most of her patterns are the same exact body and then you just make the the little details different to make it look like a different person or character so i think that's neat but anyways that was a long tangent i gotta finish doing this and um i think my sister might come by in a little while hi hattie if you're watching this uh later she's got a i got her laptop charger because jesse and i broke hers <laughs> that back in vlog vlogist when I had to quit filming Vlogus because my laptop charger, my original one broke. And then my sister loaned me hers and it broke. It broke in a really weird way. Jesse dropped it off the couch with the laptop plugged into it. And it snapped the part that you plug into the laptop in half. It was really weird. It's a metal piece and it just broke right in half. And then I went to Walmart and bought a charger and it broke also. We had three chargers broke in five days. And, um, then my, she's almost a mother-in-law. They're engaged, so they'll be getting married next year or sometime. And, um, she gave me one that she had an extra one from her son's chart. Her, one of his computers, like, pooped out or something. I can't remember. But, um, she gave me that one, and it's been working fine ever since. So, we had really bad luck at the end of August. That's why I quit doing Vlogist. And, um... I needed to take a chill pill after that because I was like, I was so worried that the computer was messed up and like surgenome or something. But so far, so good. So anyways, I'm going to hop up here and finish these descriptions and get some of these videos edited and up. Well, at least one of them up today. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video clip. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> hey guys. <clears throat> it is 8.40 on Friday night. I just got done uploading and announcing the ornament swap. If you're interested in that, go to the Facebook group and it's a pinned announcement on the top of it, the information about it. Um, I'd like to sit in there and watch Father Brown episodes and just waste time. <laughs> but I got an adult and adulting means cleaning the kitchen. So I gotta put up the dishes and load the dishwasher. 
I hope it's not full of clean dishes. Okay, they're dirty. Good. <laughs> so I gotta squeeze all these dishes in there and clean up the counters and all that fun stuff. Adulting. <laughs> Today's vlog is will be of Thursday and Friday. I don't really know if I'm gonna vlog tomorrow or not or or not. Why did I say that twice? <laughs> because um, if my mom does keep Jesse. I will be filming and doing sewing and other no catchy name related things uh, most of the day. You guys are sitting where I put this. <laughs> Stick it on top of you. But <clears throat> so I'm not sure if I'll vlog tomorrow or not. Devin does have to work. So if I do vlog tomorrow, it'll be just me at home most of the day. <laughs> Unless I go somewhere in the morning. Okay, let's see if I can play Tetris and get all the rest of these dishes in there. So that I don't have to wash any by hand, <laughs> other than a pot, because there's a pot made that's washed. I'm looking really forward to the ornament swap myself, because I'm going to participate in it too. I'm going to try to match people up with people who aren't super close to them. You know, if you're from California, I might try to match you up with someone from the East Coast somewhere or the North and South or something. Just people in different areas just so you can kind of get a different taste of different areas. <laughs> and the people who want to ship internationally, try to switch them with, you know, people who it would be cool to get other stuff from. Not that it wouldn't be cool to get stuff from anybody, but you know what I mean. It would just be cool. I don't know yet whether... I'll ship internationally. I probably will because I think it'd be. I did that 2016 when Erin from Give Me Arm for One Eight, she had one and I got a. Uh, I got someone in Florida, but the person who got me was in England and that was really cool. I got a, a moose ornament. <laughs> I think it's a moose or reindeer. It's probably a reindeer. It's a reindeer. This is stupid. Why would an English person send me a moose? But, um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> and I put it on my tree every year now. I'm pretty sure I showed it to y'all in Vlogmas last year. I wish I could get that pot in there, but I don't think I can. <laughs> I hate washing dishes sometimes. Sometimes I don't mind it. My little buddy ain't here today to help me. That's really just that one pot though. I got everything else in there. I just got an email. Another email from a person for the swap. <laughs> I got a feeling I'm going to be getting a lot of emails. In the next few weeks. Alright, let's see. Yeah, so. I don't even have to go to the post office tomorrow unless I just want to. Actually, I do. I should get a package tomorrow. From an Etsy seller, I ordered something for the for the Cakewalk Cow prizes. Put you in this bag. <laughs> well, my hands are still wet. It's okay. Where's my towel? There. I ordered a stitch marker um, for the Cakewalk Cow, and it's, it was supposed to come yesterday, but and it said that it would be. Sh uh, Available for pickup by 8 p.m. on the 4th. So I went this morning to try to check it and they said it wasn't there. So uh, I looked again on the, the email thing that my post office or that the USPS sends and it said that it should be here tomorrow, the 6th, by 8 p.m. and it was currently in Memphis. And our mail never goes to Memphis. Our mail goes from wherever people send it to from to their lo local uh, distribution center and then to our local distribution center which is Nashville so I don't know how it got into Memphis I guess it got lost somewhere <laughs> and ended up there because I've never had my mail go to Memphis and then come here because now it's gonna go to Memphis it'll have to go to Nashville and then come to here <laughs> so I probably won't be able to get that until like next week sometime I don't know I guess somebody messed up uh, clerical error or something. Yeah, the kitchen's pretty much clean now. All I had to do was those dishes. 
this is that vase I got today at the thrift store. <clears throat> I think he's so cool looking. He's just a vase. I'm going to buy some more flowers because my daisies, I guess those are daisies, I don't know. They're almost dead. So, And I like to just keep fresh flowers around sometimes. So I'm going to buy something to put in here. <laughs> my other vase, let me see if I can get it without knocking stuff down. Ooh, almost knocked over the new one. It's a skull. It's actually a mug. Big, heavy mug. I could never drink out of this. I originally bought it to use as a base. It's like a pirate skull. It's got a bandana on it. I don't know if you can see it. I got this at Walmart. <clears throat> and it's just on the aisle with the mugs. But, um, my flowers are almost dead. So I'll probably get some new ones soon. I just like to buy the $5 bouquets every now and then to have them just sitting around and being pretty. <laughs> But yeah, I think this will look pretty cool. There's the October with some flowers in it. It's really nice. It was originally $13. And I got it for $2. Very cool. But yeah, I guess I'm going to hop off here and pick up a few things around the house. And finish editing today's vlog and try to get it up in the morning. Get it uploading tonight and then scheduled for you in the morning. And then, yeah. So I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow as a vlog but for sure sunday because we're going to the pumpkin patch <laughs> we'll probably end up at a park that day too because every time we go somewhere as a family we always leave way too early oh gnats <sighs> and um we end up having to go to a park to waste time so and that's exactly what we had to do last year when we went to the pumpkin patch we went to a local park and for about an hour and um then we went and got in line for the pocket patch. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.